hi and welcome to my channel my name is rachel and in today's video i am going to talk to you about possible food shortages how you need to prepare the basics and the concerns and what foods you need to reach for because remember when it is about the shortages it's not about comfort it's not about luxury it's not about anything it's all about survival concerns when it comes to emergency food storage will be the finances and the space to store the food whenever you go shopping just look for that thing that you consume and have an extra bag especially if it is on sale take advantage of that and buy as many as you can for as long as it has a long shelf life you need to think about that so two things finances and storage storage should not be a thing even if you have a box or a used crate that you can elevate with some pieces of wood and line it up with some cardboard store your food over there you are good to go you don't have to to think about all the pinterest inspired pantries and the good looking glasswork and everything labeled and space we don't have that luxury if you have it well and good you can do that but most people will be concerned about the spaces all you need to do is to make sure that you have it because it's better you have it and you don't use it rather than you need it but you can't have it next thing we are going to talk about is power power kplc is not reliable okay if you have a fridge that you freeze and keep your fresh produce and you don't have a backup generator entity KPLC decides in 24 hours, I'm only giving you power for three uh, hours, you're eating poison, okay? Your food in a thaw, unarudi tena, unai freeze, you're eating poison. And in the long run, it is not safe for you. Maybe you're saying, I've been cooking it, I am okay. You don't know the harm you're causing on your body. So think about your storage um, situation at the moment and the power uh, reliability in your area. So... When it comes to that point, we are going to explore other alternatives. For example, canned food, because canned food is safe. So when it comes to uh, storage for your emergency, you need to, need to be realistic here, okay? First of all, we are going to talk about the availability of what you want. And this has to be something you feed on what you enjoy eating you don't want to just buy things for the sake of buying and you don't really enjoy that food we need to talk about shelf life which is very important how long are you going to keep that food the nutritional value of that food so you want to think about all that before you start collecting whatever you need to store for your emergency purposes for you to be able to really like not waste money on whatever you are going to store but to keep what you will need eventually and what will save you i am going to show you stuff that you need to have that i think you should look for now so let me show you what in a, a true average nairobi kind of situation you should be looking for and what you need to store storage should not bother you just get your food and store it for as long as you you make sure that you're storing your food in a in a dry place and the shelf life is check then you're good to go very important make sure that you stock on legumes and we are talking about all manner of legumes if you want to buy legumes cheaper and you're in nairobi don't rely on the stores you can get yourself to nyamakima in town or the cereal vendors outside every other minor estate in nairobi you can get those so we are talking about mbazi we are talking about ndengu we are soya means this can come handy when you're making your vegetarian pilau or stuff like that your stews your chapati stews you can make them as a side dish you can make a lot of things with your your soya 
so get it ready again this is perfect because of the price and the shelf life so you don't really have to worry and you can rotate with your legumes and be safe we are talking about chickpea and we are talking about beans which i didn't carry over here which is okay so my point here is store on the legumes legumes are very high in protein and they are fiber so you can fix a lot of food with those from uh, soups to stews to mixing with your rice and having is it as a complete meal that could really save you from uh, the lack of food in the stores so pack in your legumes the other good thing about them is that their shelf life is very high we're talking about 36 months from the month of from the time of harvesting of which if you store them well they could stay for so long for as long as they are stored in a very dry place and better in these jars then you're good to go you've realized that i have talked about protein sources and they all appear like plant-based uh, protein sources so if you meet a kind of person if you like meat in your um, food um, I suggest you really think beyond freezing your meat I know getting your cuckoos and your lamb chops and every other thing and freezing it is common but think beyond that because there could be even uh, electricity shortages when some things are happening maybe um, disasters like earthquakes and stuff like that or violence or uh, anything okay we are preparing for everything here not necessarily COVID-19 stuff so think about canned food so the canned meat can go beyond the expiry date okay so you don't need to worry you need to buy your canned uh, produce and keep it and you'll be safe and even after expiry everyone will tell you canned food can go beyond the date so we have talked about the protein and um, the next big thing is the carbohydrate so the must-haves we are talking about rice whether white or brown you need to store your rice rice is, has a very a long shelf life so it can really rescue you in a shortage kind of situation and the other good thing is it is affordable and most people uh, prefer rice either brown or white or both like me in different um, aspects so have your rice ready in case of such emergencies you don't have to remove the pack if it is sealed like this you're safer to go spaghetti all types of spaghetti i don't usually buy this if you're wondering i buy the usual spaghetti the santa lucia spaghetti that is my thing but when i was shopping last time there was an offer in Shoprite for this and i found it a good deal and they wanted to try it because for 300 shillings i can never buy this in real life so i had to take that advantage and just buy it when it was on offer and it expires in 2022 which is good and i tried it pasta comes handy you can make the noodle soup thing you can do it uh, the classic way your lentils your tuna your meat chunks your soya uh, means and every other thing so have your pasta ready get onions spices milk and stuff like that but for basics get your red onions these onions can last for 90 days for as long as they are in a dry place like this you don't even have to chop them and freeze them or put them in the fridge or do whatever whatever you just need to store them like in a box or somewhere look for some cardboard laid somewhere where there is good ventilation and very dry and put your your, your onions there and you're good to go we talked about the canned food like the canned vegetables your the canned fruit and all that but fresh is always better so if you can have these guys they can stay for a long long time so equip yourself with these these you can make soups with them you can throw them into your chapati dough and make some very yummy chapatis you can make some stew you can put these into your beans and make a very thick soup like stew which is very nutritious and very good for your health and one that could save your life when there is an emergency.
the other thing we are going to talk about is nuts these are almonds you can have walnuts you can have peanuts you can have um, cashew nuts you can have any nut that you like nuts again they have a very um, long shelf life and they can save your life they can act as nuts so have these and your other snacks handy you know your biscuits your other things that you might want and store them because they might as well be not um, available or the prices could go high when it comes to shortages if you live in Nairobi you know we do like unga unga for the ugali we do porridge your baby flour your chapati flour so have your unga ready you can store your ungas in uh, big buckets if you have a bigger family there are so many ways you can keep that uh, in ziploc bags in containers like glass lid ones have your unga ready all types of ungas because it's a very good carbohydrate especially in this part of the world so all types of ungas you need to have a backup and the point remember just figure it out how many times you make ugali and for how many people any unga emergency for like um, a month is safe because of the short expiry when it comes to the unga which is still fine because you will back that up as time goes by i am showing you of course what i have but this is a point of letting you know that you need to be prepared for the usage of your household so this stuff i use to make my ugali flour and the best part about making your ugali flour at home is because you don't have to worry about short expiry when it comes to ungas but when when you get these grains and you keep them well you can make your unga safely so i have uh bad millet some sorghum i have finger millet and i also throw some toasted uh, pumpkin seeds which i make every time i slice a pumpkin from the farm or when i buy it i have the seeds i just clean them and dry them on the pan and store them here when they are dry and cold oats is very affordable very healthy very nutritious and very yummy if you make them the right way so you can bake your muffins you can bake your uh granola you can do oatmeal you can make your smoothies with oats so invest in oats and the best way like i told you to get them ni times on offer you just get an extra bag come to store for as long as the expiry date is far from uh the date when you're buying it now that we have everything in check when it comes to the legumes and the carbohydrate sources your vitamin sources and your meat sources and we need to think about your oil you need salt when you lack it is when you know salt is very important if you are a sugar kind of person get your sugar ready target those times when it is on sale and buy your sugar not a basic but could be a basic if you really love your drinks is your favorite drinks and in this form i mean whether tea or coffee if you love coffee or you love tea or another thing of such kind then you need to have it because you if you know someone who likes coffee you know they won't settle until they have coffee so have your coffee ready i i like this purple tea eden uh, products are on sale they were three days ago today is uh fourth of november so i hope they are still on offer in Kafo. so they are going for very affordable prices all of them it is not a promo i'm just telling you so stock on these if you rely on them and you'll be fine most people snack i also snack but not so much so get your snacks ready get your biscuits ready your cookies ready you are everything ready target those offers target the offers my friend and store what you can afford to store okay get your snacks ready because you don't want to lack them if you that kind of a snack do you that kind of a snack you are a snack no if you like snacks that is what i mean that is my video for today i hope i encouraged you i'm in a journey to to 
just plan ahead and um, have some pantry uh, situation that is reliable in a long run and I hope that one day I will show you what I have and what I have learned in the process because I am learning a lot at the moment and I want to learn with you so tell me what you're doing differently and I will be glad to hear from you so that is it for today I thank you so much for being here please hit the like 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 button and remember to subscribe to my channel and I just love you God bless